Chapter three is called Once Upon a Time. What kind of stories begin with once upon a time? That's right, fairy tales. Hmm. Duspero's siblings tried to educate him in the ways of being a mouse. His brother Furlow took him on a tour of the castle to demonstrate the art of scurrying. Move side to side, instructed Furlow, scrabbling across the waxed castle floor. Look over your shoulder all the time, first to the right, then to the left. Don't stop for anything. But Despereau wasn't listening to Furlow. He was staring at the light pouring in through the stained glass windows of the castle. He stood on his hind legs and held his handkerchief over his heart and stared up, up, up into this brilliant light. Furlow, he said, what, what is this thing? What are all these colors? Are we in heaven? Cripes, shouted Furlow from a far corner. Don't stand there in the middle of the floor talking about heaven. Move, you're a mouse, not a man. You've got to scurry. What, said Despero, still staring at the light. But Furlow was gone. He had, like a good mouse, disappeared into a hole in the molding. Despero's sister, Merlot, took him into the castle library, where light came streaming in through tall, high windows and landed on the floor in bright yellow patches. Here, said Merlot, follow me, small brother, and I will instruct you on the fine points of how to nibble paper. Merlot scurried up a chair and from there hopped onto a table on which there sat a huge open book. This way, small brother, she said as she crawled onto the pages of the book. And Despero followed her from the chair to the table to the page. Now then, said Merlot, this glue here is tasty and the paper edges are crunchy and yummy like so. She nibbled at the edge of a page and then looked over at Despero. You try, she said, first a bite of some glue and then follow it with a crunch of the paper. And these squiggles, these are very tasty. Despero looked down at the book and something remarkable happened. The marks on the pages, the squiggles as Merlot had referred to them, arranged themselves into shapes. The shapes arranged themselves into words and the words spelled out a delicious and wonderful phrase, once upon a time. Once upon a time, whispered Despero. What? said Merlot. Nothing. Eat, said Merlot. Well, I couldn't possibly, said Despero, backing away from the book. Why? Um, said Despero, it would ruin the story. The story? What story? Merlot stared at him. A piece of paper trembled at the end of one of her indignant whiskers. It's just like Pa said when you were born. Something is not right with you. She turned and scurried from the library to tell her parents about this latest disappointment. Despero waited until she was gone, and then he reached out and with one paw touched the lovely words, once upon a time. He shivered. He sneezed. Achoo! He blew his nose into his handkerchief. Once upon a time, he said aloud, relishing the sound, and then, tracing each word with his paw, he read the story of a beautiful princess and the brave knight who serves and honors her. Despero did not know it, but he would need, very soon, to be brave himself. Have I mentioned that beneath the castle there was a dungeon? In the dungeon there were rats. Large rats. Mean rats. Despero was destined to meet those rats. Readers, you must know that an interesting fate, sometimes involving rats, sometimes not, awaits almost everyone, mouse or man, who does not conform. What else do we learn about Despero? He still doesn't like to do things that other mice are doing, right? He doesn't like to scurry, and he doesn't like to eat paper. Why didn't he want to eat the paper in the book? That's right, because Despero could read the book. Could any other mouse read? Nope, just Despero. And what kind of book was he reading? Yeah, it was a fairy tale about a princess and a knight who serves and honors her. And what did we learn about what's under the castle? That's right, there's a dungeon. What's the dungeon filled with? Rats. Mean rats, 
scary rats. And it said Despero was destined to meet those rats. Uh-oh. I wonder how. Gotta keep reading.